I didn't even check because I was like super greasy or anything. My hair be looking like a mess, so ignore that. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing an unboxing. Now, for some reason, I didn't think to try to do deck trading with other deck creators. So what had happened was I ended up doing a deck trade with another deck creator who also wanted my deck, the Iris Tarot, and I wanted their deck. So we ended up doing a deck trade. I don't know why I didn't think about this before with other deck creators whose deck that I wanted to, except I didn't know if they would want my deck. But in this case, the creator did want my deck and I did want their deck. So we ended up doing a deck trade, which is my first time doing it. And I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know why I never thought about doing that before. But anyways, we are gonna do an unboxing of a deck. It is an Oracle deck. I have it right here. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the edges though. I believe they're like a royal blue. I don't remember if they're like a holographic blue though. Even if they're not, I'm still gonna love them because they're blue. So let's get this baby open. It's so pretty. Here we go. There's nothing else in the box, just the deck. Ooh, we're gonna keep this bubble wrap to recycle it. Can you guys guess what deck it is? Can you? I mean, you probably already know by the title, right? It is the Glow Oracle. Yes, oh my God, this looks so pretty. Okay, let me take this plastic off so you can see the, I think this is like a hollow blue. It feels, it has like a nice smooth, sort of rose petally feel but not totally this blue though i don't think my camera can catch it that well it looks kind of holographic to me it doesn't look just pure blue foil look how beautiful this box is oh that is upside down what am i doing so pretty it is a magnetic clasp box Ooh, look at the inside Even the ribbon is blue. Here's the book. It feels nice and matte as well. Here's the back. Is this a jellyfish? Yes. We're gonna sniff it. It doesn't smell that bad. I've smelled better books, but it doesn't smell that bad. And it is colored. Isn't that pretty? Now, from what I remember, it has a lot of information on the actual animals on each card in the book too. So I am definitely gonna read all of this book because I like learning about animals and all that jazz. Oh, there's a little dude in here. He's just like, hi, hello. <laughs> He's just chilling there. That's cute. All right, here are the, it is holographic. Oh my God, this is so pretty. We're gonna take that card condom off. These are the bags, look how beautiful and blue these backs look as you can tell i like blue i don't know if you guys can see the blue in my hair but i like blue and look at these hollow graphic blue edges i hope the hollow picks up because i can see it so hopefully you guys can see it but these edges are so beautiful i can get lost in this blue color forever all right let's look at the car Ooh. Now cardstock is, it's not super thick, like sturdy, like most Oracle decks are, which is good. That means it's shuffleable and it is a matte feel. Look at this. This looks like a shell or a snail of some sort. Not a snail, um, like an oyster or something. So from what I could tell, you have a sort of sigil here or a glyph. The picture of the uh, creature or animal, the name of the animal and then keywords to go with the animal. And I believe all of the animals or creatures that are in here give off some sort of glow or iridescent, iridescentness, iridescency to them, you know, where they, where they create like a sort of different light or shine. That's what I'm assuming off of my first impressions, but I think it's really cool. Otala jellyfish, otala, otala. I love these colors. Hey, this is the little dude that was in the box. Look at the little dude. So cute. Why did this glyph make me think of a, of like a shotgun glyph? Doesn't it look like, like I'm thinking of a gun in a video game. I'm a nerd, I know. Whoa. Black dragonfish. This looks creepy. Creepy cool. Look at that. 
Can you imagine just seeing one of those in the deep ocean? Bloody belly comb jelly. Bloody belly comb jelly. <laughs> this glyph makes me think of dancing just by how it's drawn for some reason. Look at those colors. Ooh, butterfly. How vibrant these colors are is just, whoa. Is this a starfish? This is a weird looking starfish. Again, weird as in cool. Aw, look at this bird. It's a cute bird. Cicada. I love the details in the glyphs too. That's really cool. Can't wait to read about them. In the book, snail. Look how cool the colors. I like the choice of color in the background. Well, is this a shark? This is a creepy looking shark. Um, but look at these blues. I like the color choice going on in the background to go with the creature that's on the card too. That's really cool. This is this a um a hummingbird? Or what are those other birds? A woodpecker. Is it a woodpecker? Wood it's a wood nymph. It's a wood nymph. But it looks like either a woodpecker or a hummingbird. Gives me more hummingbird vibes. Cuttlefish. A damselfly. What? This is so cool. Those, those little thingies that make the water glow in certain parts of the world. That's a long name. I don't know if I can say that. Dinoflagellates. I probably said that wrong. Dino flagajits. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Ooh, a lizard. I like how the glyph also looks like a lizard, doesn't it? Just a little bit. A fire beetle? That's cool. A firefly squid? That is awesome. A firefly? Flying fish? That's cool. Ah, oh, the flying squirrel. I like this squirrel. Looks so happy. Whoa, glow worms. That is cool. I'm gonna say that a lot. Golden sweepers. This little dude is taking a nap. Whoa, this eel looks scary as heck. Look at that mouth. Jesus Christ. Guppy. Another beautiful squid. Turtle. Horseshoe crab. Look at the designs that are back here. I see shells right there. That's pretty cool. The duck. I think I saw this duck on their page the other day. A mandarin fish? A mandrill? Is this a type of baboon? Whoa, a mantis shrimp? This is the little dude that's on the cover right here. Interesting. Mud skipper. I think this is a type of slug. It looks like a slug. The opossum. A parrotfish. Look at all the colors in there. Peacock flounder an actual peacock, a pine cone fish. I just noticed that these are also in alphabetical order when you first get the deck. Platypus with rainbow colors. This cute tree frog, 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 <laughs> tree frog, just chilling. Oh, look at this cool jellyfish. I like how these, their little tentacles here look like lightning. Puffin. Hyrosome? That looks awesome. That looks like a galaxy right there. A rainbow stag beetle. You know what? I have a stag beetle on my two of pentacles. That's kind of cool. They're pretty strong beetles. Oh, look at the owl. Oh, is this the owl's wing? Because that's colorful as heck. The scorpion. Ooh, a scorpion fish. This fish looks kind of pointy. 
I see a lot of pointy ends on the fish right there. Oh, this one's cute. The little sea angel. A sea mouse. Ooh, sea sapphire. Look at those colors. Sparkle muffin. Sparkle muffin? Is that really what this dude's called? Spring hair. This looks like a bunny and a squirrel mixed in one. This bird looks huge, but also kind of scary because like the face right there, it looks like it's going, ah! <laughs> a swell shark. That is some cool colors on that shark. Tasmanian devil. Look at the little teeth. Well, they'd be big teeth actually if they're sticking out like that. Oh, the Venus flytrap. I wonder if it's like emitting some sort of something right there or if it uses that to lure in its prey. Web-footed gecko. Such a happy gecko. Ooh, a sea dragon. White-tipped python. Those pretty colors. It makes me think of like um, the rainbow effect you get on an oil slick. You know what I'm talking about? Wombat. And then last but not least is the yellow stingray. These edges though, I can't stop looking at them. There's such a beautiful royal blue holographic color. Ah, so the book does talk about the different types of ways that they give off light. Cause I think I mentioned like an iridescent or a glow in the beginning of the video. So it does mention in the book if it gives an iridescent glow or an iridescent look to it, a bioluminescent look to it, biofluorescent look to it, which is pretty cool. So I can't wait to read the book here to get more information on all of these animals because I love animal dicks. So as far as size goes, it is your normal Oracle size. And since the cards are, like I said, it's not that thick, it's shuffleable compared to most Oracle decks. It's a bit thinner than most Oracle decks that I have or that I'm aware of, but let's see how it shuffles. Oh yeah, that shuffles very, very well. Very good for overhand. Since it's oracle size, it's comfortable to hold. It's also not that thick. This feels great. And I like how it sounds when you shuffle too. I will link Robin's Instagram in the description down below. Robin is the creator of the Glow Oracle, so go check her out. If I missed anything in the video, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.